The goal everyone is set out to achieve is having a customizable, profitable, and easy to use strategy. Every single person needs their own strategy built and customized off of their own trading experience. If you're looking to get mentored or taught by somebody, I just started my new Discord server. So much free information also, you should really consider it. After you watch this video, you will have so much more confidence approaching your game and you'll realize soon that I don't do this often, so you're going to have to enjoy it. Risk tolerance, time of day, position size, it all depends depends on how you like it. These are five things that every single profitable strategy you will ever find needs to have. And if you're looking for something other than that, get the fuck out of here. When I first set out to become a trader, you chase the gains and you chase that money. I will never be done changing how I trade. And the first thing you need is sticky notes. You ever seen one of these? I have the ability to write as many things as I want on each of these sticky notes. Now, if I write something, I'm able to take this off of my notepad and stick it somewhere important. I also have the option to throw it away. I've been trading every single day for the last 900 days. And while most of that I have been doing the same thing, I'm always changing my style. Whenever it's time to peel one of these off and throw it away, it's okay because I have the opportunity to write something new down and stick it with the rest of them. You have to have the ability to take parts of your strategy and move them around while being able to add new parts temporarily. Now there may be parts that are very key to your success. And those sticky notes can stay there as long as you'd like. But separating them and being able to add new components, add new sticky notes to what you like to do, because there's a certain style that I love to trade. But things have to be changed over time because of how the market moves. So being able to quickly remove and add new things to your strategy is something you have to have. You've probably seen your favorite trader trade a certain way and wanted to be just like them. And since I'm your favorite trader, I'm here to tell you, you're not going to be like me. This is such a personal thing. There's so many things that I only will do. That's why I think so many people fail so early because they want to be like somebody they used to like and when you realize that anything can be done to be successful there's no strategy better than the other genuinely nobody fucking knows what the market's gonna do whoever manages risk survives if there's one thing you take from this video it's that you can commit to building something around you because you need to stop putting other people's money and success and information in front of your own personal passion let's talk about icarus now while he was in prison him and his friend made a set of shitty wings that he could fly away in doing so he escaped the prison meanwhile his partner reminded him multiple times to not fly close to the sun and bro got cocky and he did and his wings broke and he fell to his death and drowned this is something i think is very relatable to everybody inside of the trading space you have flown too close to the sun too many times everybody starts off in a place of imprisonment whether it's financially, mentally, or overall your life situation. And you step into trading because you see you can move money quickly. And once you get a hold of it, you can't be stopped. And you end up losing it all. Setting up a profit goal is something you have to to have whether it's limiting your amount of trades setting a personal profit goal for yourself every day or just having to step away after a certain amount of time doing so is going to save you so much money we all have used prop firms before now whether you're trading on options forex or on your own futures account these rules can be learned from there's a set amount of money you can make and lose every single day you approach the trade you need to have your own set of prop firm rules because when you trade every single day there's going to be bad days really bad days this is going to eliminate those now while this thing is not as important i think this is something you should address having insurance it's something we do for all of our property <laughs> protecting yourself long term now this is something i get lost in because of how short term i trade but you have to understand the stock market itself now you don't have to go look at the economic factors of the world to do this we are soon to see a new president in the united states and now i don't know the outcome we are going to see but usually a new president is something that may affect the stock market. And while that happens, that may affect my strategy. You just have to make sure outside factors, no matter what, will not affect your trading style. I trade supply and demand, which is basically just trading price action. I will forever be able to do that because if there was no price action, there would be no stock market. And at that point, I think there's bigger issues to be settled. This is going to take months and months. You have to make sure if you're going to spend that much time on this, that you are going to be able to do it no matter what the situation is. If you're still trading by the time we see a new president, pretty good accomplishment. There is a huge misconception in the trading space. People seriously believe you need to have a high win rate to be profitable. And I completely disagree. Now, when you have a strategy, you are going to be able to determine your risk and reward every single time you take a trade. Meaning I know how much I can win or lose 
no matter the situation. I am so invested into premeditation before you take a trade, being able to fully see what is going to happen before you do so. I believe that is the most important thing about becoming a profitable trader. The reason why trading gets a bad rap is because people jump into things blindly. Being able to set up my risk to reward is going to tell me how much I am going to make and lose before I take the trade. Meaning I will not be blindsided, I will not be over the moon, I will not be sad because I have a systematic approach to everything. The more you treat this as a robotic system than a dopamine rush. When I'm trading live or I'm on social media, you might see me very hype or you know, super excited for winning a trade. In reality, I am excited, but that's a bad thing for me to reciprocate online just because I believe that's that's not what you should be doing. You know, I don't want you to be like alpha, like no emotion when I'm winning a trade, like you just made $10,000, you're just like, I don't think that's a good thing. Let's say I take three trades. In each of those trades, I was targeting three times the amount of money I'm going to make if I lose it. Now in that situation, if I were to take three trades, I would be able to lose two of them and still be profitable. This is an approach that is you know, very common, but I think misunderstood, where my win rate would be down but my actual P and L would be up. Now I don't encourage you to lose two out of three of your trades, but do not think you need to have an 80, 75, 90% win rate because over months and months and months, that's literally impossible. Focus on earning more than you are losing per trade. Now I mentioned this earlier, and I think this is the most important thing for you to be able to do. No matter the situation, the current events in the world, no matter what's going on, every single day, if you can understand how to trade off of price action solely, you can be successful every single day. Now that's a big umbrella of things, and I'm okay with telling you that because price action can just be referred to being able to trade off of the chart. If you can understand understand how price is moving every single day, you are going to have such a better edge in the market. And this isn't just referring to being able to read the trend, but this is being able to trade off of it. So whether you like to look at order blocks, fair value gaps, trade off of supply and demand levels, do anything you would like, not being able to be affected by anything outside of the chart. You're avoiding news, you're sizing yourself correctly, you're doing all of these other factors I just mentioned to you today. As long as you can do that, you are going to be good. In my career as of now, I believe that's the best thing I've learned to be able to do just because no matter your strategy, no matter your indicators, no matter what you like to do, the chart is all you've got. And if you can just read a blank chart to the best of your abilities, over time, you're going to be able to do things. And once you can pair that with these other factors, that is where you really can build something very personal and make it into something great. I've always said to people that you need to build kind of a meatball where you're taking things from certain strategies, you're taking personalities from people, you're taking ideas, and you're forming it into this meatball of ideas. That should be your strategy because you need to have passion when you're doing this. Everything is driven by money now, and I believe that is such a horrible thing. That is when you will fly too close to the sun, not only because of the money, because let's be real, I wouldn't be doing this either. But if you have passion going into it, you're going to be able to do this consistently over and over and over again, regardless of the outcome. And that's so important in the beginning because it will try to shake you out of the market. You will take losing days. You will get everything beaten out of you. If you can stay through it, you are going to see the success. I don't care. You can't lose if you keep going. And if you have that passion towards this, you will not be able to be stopped. I told my story a thousand times of how I lost everything I had. It was at the point where I literally couldn't lose anymore. And throughout my time, I guess it did just kind of happen. These are things that you have to have. And this video was not made for you to trade a certain way or do a certain thing. And this video wasn't made for you to trade a certain way. These are just requirements you need to have when you're building your own canvas. All there is now for you to do is go work. This is a job where you can do this anywhere on your phone, on your computer, on your tablet, wherever you go. And it's not a sport where you can get fatigued playing too much. You have unlimited resources and unlimited time to use. I suggest you work on it because the faster you do it, the faster you will see the other side. All this is, is your blueprint.